everyone, it's Stephanie Manley, and guess what? I'm still a fountain pen freak this week. And I recently went to Drum Goals, um, my local pen store, and I purchased a couple of bottles of ink. Well, in this case, a couple is three bottles of ink. Not exactly a couple. Let me start this again. Hello, everyone. It's Stephanie Manley with, well, <laughs> hello, everyone. It's Stephanie Manley, and I'm still a fountain pen freak. Recently went to Drawn Goals and picked up some lovely ink here, and I just want to kind of show you what I picked up. I picked up two KWZ inks. I think these are fairly new. And then I got the Diamine Earl Grey, which um, they developed this cup color after the Reddit forum. And you can, I'll try to keep everything pointing the same way, right here. So that you can see this little sticker here that lets you know it was done by the Reddit group. So this looks like it's a 100 ml bottle, I'm gonna guess. It looks, oh, it's 80 mils, not 100. Okay, and I just thought I would do uh, a couple of swatches real quick for these as my phone buzzes. Um, I like to do two swatches when I swatch uh, ink. One is for the uh, Tomoy River paper, just in case if it sheens or behaves a little bit differently. I like to see that. Okay, and then I just do it on regular cardstock. These also take a little bit longer to dry, so I'll put this to the side. And here's the Earl Grey. And this is just cardstock that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's a general cardstock. And I started doing this because the cardstock can get a little funky on you. I just kind of want to see how the ink behaved. And the Tomoy River paper, you can see there's some nice coloring in there that looks a little bit different. Let me try to move this over just a smidge. But this looks so much better. Um, so I do use Tomoy River paper to write letters, uh, but that's about all. It's not my everyday paper. So I mostly use, well, I use fountain pens exclusively. And, um, you know, I generally do with the Lloydstrom. I do have this pen here inked up with it. Um, you can be able to see that as well. So I uh, like this. Um, a lot of people like to write with black ink. I don't know why I don't. Um, so that looks really, really nice. Now the next two inks I don't have already in a pen right now. I'm waiting to empty out a couple of pens. But I thought I would go ahead and get these keyed up and done. So KWZ ink I guess is made in Poland. That's what it says in the back. These were all about, these were marked $15. Wow, how am I gonna get this open? Okay, there. Wow, oh, that was really tough. Okay, love this color. Now this color I did actually try out in the store. It's one reason why I love to go to a store to buy ink because they often will let you check out the ink before you buy it. Okay, those are my Tomoy River. Um, but just, just loved the intensity of that one. I don't think I have anything quite that colorful. And here's my cardstock one. I just find that these inks look very different on cardstock as opposed to uh, the Tomoy River paper. And you can see one is definitely much more vibrant than the other. But really liked these colors. I think this one turns out to be more blue and that one is more magenta. All right, so I'll put those off to the side. And then I got the El Dorado. I was looking at the Noodler's Golden Brown and um, this one uh, won out for me. It's one of the benefits of going to a store. Okay. 
These are nice jars, nice uh, thick jars. So we'll swatch on Tomoe River Paper. Try to saturate that one a little bit more. There. All right, and then again on cardstock. So I'm not completely certain how writable this is going to be for everyday use. Perhaps um, it would be great for a craft or something like that. Put my Q-tip somewhere. All right. Um, but these were some gorgeous inks, again, that I picked up. So I have the... KWZ El Dorado. This one's still drying. Then I have the Gummy Berry, which is a really nice purple. I can't wait to use that. Um, and you can see with the Tomoe River paper, that paper is fairly saturated and it doesn't go through. Really like these. Sometimes these cards will go through depending upon the ink, but these look like they did not. And the Diamine Earl Grey, really like how the shading is in there. Um, it definitely pulls multiple colors. And there's the Diamine Earl Grey. And so when this one dries, the El Dorado dries. Let me see if I can get them all in the shot. Uh, I will put these in my book. I'll show you my book that I use. I just bought a notebook. It's a three ring binder. And then I cut cards. I cut them to the size of three inches by two inches, kind of the baseball card size. And so for a lot of my inks, I will move this over so this will dry. A lot of my inks, I swatch. I started swatching the back side as well, but um, I did those. Yeah, so here this front side is cardstock and the back side is a Tomoe rubber paper. So you can see the knob. Oh, we got the news. Okay, so here's the Bay State Blue. It just looks so much better. It's been so much better um, on the Tomoe rubber paper. So that's in like here. You can see with some of these Noodler's colors, the Apache Sunset, you're capturing a lot more in there. And then the Noodler's Pecan Brown as well. And uh, the Noodler's Golden Brown. So this is the Noodler's Golden Brown. Oh, and this is the El Dorado. It hadn't finished drying yet. That one, I think the Noodler's Brown definitely is more usable than the El Dorado. So this one will probably go for crafting or something like that. But this is what I keep my inks in. I did use one of those really nice um, three that that ring. Uh, this one puts out. I can't think of what the name of it is. My dog promptly ate the top of it off. And um, yeah, I just like this better because I get I can compare them a little bit easier without having to take the ring out. And um, yeah, so this is what I put my inks in. So that's it for this week's. Uh, pen installment. I will soon be going to the Arkansas Pen Show. Very excited. I've never been to a pen show before, so definitely be going to that. But there you go. There's my uh, recent ink purchases. And again, I'll show those to you. Wow, if I can get them all over here. Was the Dimeen Earl Grey, the uh, KWZ Ink in Gummy Berry, as well, and the KWZ in El Dorado. And that still has not dried yet, so goodness. Be a couple minutes before I get a chance to put those in. But hey, so if you like this, let me know. Let me know what colors you are thinking about purchasing. Um, I'd love to hear it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.